Max comes home from work. He sees Sarah and talks to her. Sarah doesn't say anything to Max. She is looking at their family photos. Sarah is sad. Max looks at Sarah. He sits down next to her. Max understands. Sarah really misses their parents. We can call mom and dad and spend some time with them right now. Wait, Max. What is today? Monday. I forget. What is today? Today is Dad's birthday. That's right. We aren't together on Dad's birthday, so we can't celebrate with him. I have an idea. Go and change your clothes. What? Why? We're going to a party. Go change. Max, the table is full of food. Well. We're celebrating Dad's birthday. Okay, let's celebrate Dad's birthday. We can have a party with them on the internet. Oh, Mom and Dad can see us through our webcam. Yes. Hi, Mom. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Dad. Dad. Renee, are you ready? Almost. I'll go change my clothes. So, what are you and your wife doing tonight? My family is having a big family dinner. Really? How big? Almost 150 people. Wow, that is big. Yes, some of my relatives from other countries are coming. Does your family get together every year? No. Our family gets together every two to three years. Do you know all your relatives? <laughs> Not really. Some of us wear name tags at dinner. Some? Yes. The older family members don't have to. Why not? Everyone knows them already. I see. So you mean just your grandparents? And all of my aunts and uncles. Oh, I see. How many aunts and uncles do you have? <laughs> I have twenty aunts and uncles. Wow. Yeah, my dad has four brothers and six sisters. The other ten are their wives and husbands. Does Renee know all of them? No. Honey, you look so nice. Thanks. I want to look nice. Good luck, Renee. You need to remember a lot of names. Thanks, Max. Oh, Simon, I'm nervous. Don't worry, honey. Maybe this can help. I made it for you. What's that? A family tree. This will help you remember everyone. Renee, how was the family dinner last night? It was okay. Did you remember everyone's names? Almost. I already know Simon's grandparents, and I got the uncles' names, but. But what? I called an aunt by the wrong name, and she got mad. Oh no! But I talked to Simon's ninety-eight-year-old grandma, and then I felt better. Why? Because she forgot that aunt's name too. <laughs> Simon, Rick, what are you doing here? Well, hello to you too. Sorry, Rich. I'm just surprised to see you again so soon. How are you doing, little brother? <laughs> I didn't get to talk to you much last night. Rich, I'm not your little brother. I'm an adult. I know you are an adult. But you'll always be my younger brother. I know, but remember, I'm married. I have a wife. I have a kid. You don't have a child. I know. I wasn't going to say that. What were you going to say, Simon? 
I have a job. What is your job? I do many things. I know, but do you have a real job? Rich, I enjoy doing many different jobs. But what is your dream, Simon? I am living my dream. I love living in small town. I have great friends and a great wife, and a great brother. You don't live here. I know. But I want us to live in the same place again. You do? Yes. Let's talk about our family business. You want to talk about our family business? Yes. Dad hopes you will join our business again. He wants the family to be together. We can be together without working together. All of us working together is important to Dad. Okay, I'll think about it. Thanks, Simon. It will be nice to see you more. I miss my little brother. Yes, yes, I miss you too. I thought so. How are my nieces? I couldn't believe it when I saw them at the dinner. They are so big now. They are growing up. It's exciting to see them change. How old is Becca now? She is eight years old. She can play the piano. Really? And Tina is playing the guitar. And I am paying a lot of money for their lessons. <laughs> I miss my nieces. What about your nephew? I don't have a nephew. You will soon. Eunice and I will have a baby boy in March. Really? That's great. I can't wait to meet little Simon. You're naming your son Simon? Yes, just like his uncle. Thanks, Rich. I don't know what to say. Say you'll join our family business, Rich. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hi, Sarah. Is Max here? No. Okay, I can wait. Hey, Sarah, I have some new pets. Oh, really? Yes, I really like them. That's great. Yeah, my pets are fun. I can play with them all day. Why aren't you playing with them now? They're sleeping. Oh. Max and I are going to the pet store. That's nice. I want a good cage for my pets. Okay, great. Hey, come to the store with us. Uh, no thanks. I'm really busy. Oh. Okay. So tell me more about your pets. They're small and quiet, and they don't eat very much. That's good. They aren't a lot of trouble. Right. My kittens are great. Kittens? I love kittens. Can I see them? Can I hold them? Sure. Ah! Those aren't baby cats. Those are rats. Baby rats are kittens too. Oh, I don't care. Get those rats out of my house. Betty is in the post office. She is playing with a dog. When she hears someone, she takes the dog to the back. Hugh comes in and looks for Betty. She comes back out. Hugh takes a brush out of his bag. He wants Betty to buy it. She looks at it, but she doesn't want to buy it. Hugh hears something. He asks Betty about it. Oh, what did you hear? I heard a noise in the back. Is someone back there? No, there's no one in the back of the post office. Oh, okay. Well, forget about the brush. I have something even better for you, Betty. What is it? It's perfect, pet. A pet? It's a leash. Do you want a pet? 
Well, uh. Maybe you want one, but you don't want to care for one. People say that all the time. So this is the perfect pet. I only see a leash. You can take perfect pet for a walk. But you don't have to feed it or give it a bath. <laughs> you want me to buy a leash with an invisible dog? It doesn't bark or bite. It's the perfect pet. Actually, I already have a perfect pet. You bought one of these already? No, I have a dog. Oh. Her name is Teddy. Teddy, come here. Hi, Teddy. Were you making noise in the back of the post office earlier? I shouldn't have Teddy at work, but we're practicing for the small town dog show. Can Teddy do some tricks? Of course. Would you like to see one? Sure. Okay. Watch this. Great job, Teddy. You just need one more thing. What's that? A costume. You're right. It's perfect. I'll buy it. You will? I mean, that's great. <laughs> Hi, Betty. Oh, your dog is so cute. Yeah, I like his costume. Why is he wearing it? She is wearing it because she was in Small Town's dog show. Did she win a prize? Teddy won two prizes. She won best trick and best costume. That's great. Can we see some tricks? Sure. Hey, Sarah, wouldn't it be fun to have a dog like Teddy? Well, I think a cat would be a better pet. Dogs are harder to take care of. But cats are lazy. They just lie around all day. Dogs are better. No, they're not. Will your parents let you get a pet? That's a good question. I don't know. What do you think is the best pet, Renee? I've always wanted a really big dog. What does Simon think? Simon likes small animals better. Maybe we'll get some fish. My new pets are small. Do you want to see them, Renee? Sure. I'm leaving. Ben, I told you not to bring those rats in here. Rats? Ah! Well, I'd like to see your new pets. Thank you. Renee is working in the diner. She is very busy and tired. Max is not there. Renee calls him on the phone. He doesn't answer. Some customers leave. Renee looks at their dirty plates and cups. She takes them into the kitchen. Ben comes in and sits down. Renee comes back. She walks over to Ben. Hey, Renee. Look at these keys. What are they for? My motorcycle. You have a motorcycle? I do now. It's outside. Where is Max? I can give him a ride. Where is Max? Good question. I don't know. Oh. I can give you a ride. Come outside. No, Ben, I'm busy. Oh. Can I get you something? Coffee, please? Okay. This is Ben. Oh, hi, Max. 
Yes, I do. Okay. See you soon. Where is Max? He's at the hospital. Oh no! What's wrong? He's not hurt. He's having car trouble. Can you fix it? I don't know, but I can give him a ride on my motorcycle. What sign is this? Ben, that's easy. It's a stop sign. Yes. And what do you do when you see a stop sign? You stop your car. Good job. Now, what is this road sign? That's not a road sign. <laughs> You're right. Very funny, Ben. Sarah, what is your answer? It's a traffic light. How many lights are on a traffic light? Ben, this is too easy. How many lights, Sarah? Three, and they are red, yellow, and green. Red means stop. Green means go. And yellow means slow. Good job, Sarah. I have no more questions. Why didn't you pick me up from work? Oh no! I forgot. I'm sorry. Ben is helping me. We are reviewing road signs for my written test. Hey Max, what does this sign mean? That's a do not enter sign. I should make you a sign. What kind of sign? A don't forget to pick Max up sign. <laughs> Let's practice with more road signs. No thanks. I know the road signs. All of them. I hope so. But some traffic rules still confuse me. Really? Like what? Like, is it okay to turn right at a red light? In our state, you can turn after you stop, but some states have different rules. Do you have any other tips? Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Keep your eyes on the road. You have to be careful at all times. Can I sing? No. <laughs> Are you guys okay? Yes. My sister is getting her license. I just can't believe it. I can't either. Oh, Simon, it's you. Well, hi to you too, Max. I'm sorry. Hello, Simon. Are you okay, Max? I'm fine. I'm just a little nervous. Why? I'm waiting for Sarah. She is taking her road test today, and I really want to know if she passed. Do you think she passed? I hope so. She passed the written test, but the road test will be harder for her. Sarah is getting her driver's license. How exciting! Sarah might get her license. She has to pass the test first. I remember when I took my road test. I had to take it twice. Really? Why? I failed the first time because I didn't stop at a stop sign. But you passed the second time, right, honey? Yes, I was happy about that. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh oh, what's wrong? How was your test? <sighs> it was hard. I had a hard time remembering all the traffic laws. I'm sorry, Sarah. Do you need to take the test again? No. No. No, because I passed. You passed? I passed. <gasps> Congratulations! I'm so proud of you. <laughs> so tell us about your test, Sarah. Were you nervous? A little, but I was okay. Max and I practiced everything, so I knew what to do. Did you remember to put on your seatbelt? Yes. Did you check your mirrors? Yes, Max. I did those things first when I got in the car. Good. That's very important. 
What was the hardest part of the test for you? Parallel parking. I always have a hard time with that. Me too. Did you hit the sidewalk? No, I didn't. I was very careful. That's good. Did you make full stops at all stop signs and traffic lights? Yes, and I was very careful about the speed limit. Good. So when do you get your license? I will get my new license in the mail sometime this week. That's great. It sounds like you were really prepared for this test, Sarah. I was. Max helped me a lot. Max is a good driver. And a great big brother. Thanks, Sarah. So, big brother, can I drive home? <laughs> I'll think about it. First, let's celebrate. <laughs> What are you doing, Renee? I'm dreaming. What are you dreaming about? My dream house. Is it in those magazines? Maybe I'm looking. What kind of house do you want? I want one with five bedrooms and five bathrooms. So you want a big house? Yes. Oh, look at this one. But it isn't in small town. But there are nice houses in small town. Look in the newspaper. Okay. Oh, Max, listen to this. I'm listening. New house has five bedrooms and five bathrooms, large kitchen and dining room. It's great for parties. Wow. Hi, honey. How are you? I'm tired. Why? I am fixing all the windows at the Parker's house. That's a big place. I know. I don't want a big house. It's too much work. I do. I want one with five bedrooms. <laughs> That is too big. Let's get a nice small house. Okay. Let's get one with only four bedrooms. Hi, Hugh. What are you selling today? Nothing. I'm here because I'm hungry and tired. What can I get you? A sandwich would be great. Okay, I'll be right back. Why are you hungry and tired? I'm hunting for an apartment. Do you want to live in small town? No, but Olga does. Olga wants to live here. Why? She can get a job here. Doing what? A company here does a lot of business with Germany. They want Olga to work for them. Olga may work in small town. Yes, and she wants me to rent an apartment for her. What kind of apartment does she want? One that's not too big, but not too small. How big is that? I'm not sure, but I'm looking at two-bedroom apartments. That's good for one person. Did you talk to a real estate agent? Yes, she showed me some apartments today, but I didn't like her. Why not? Because those apartments cost too much. I told her Olga's budget. But she didn't listen. You don't need a real estate agent. Just look in the newspaper. There are lots of apartments for rent. Good idea. Here's today's paper. So what is Olga's budget? She doesn't want to pay more than eight hundred dollars a month for rent. You can get a nice apartment for that. Does she want an apartment with furniture? Yes. If I can find one, will she have a car? No, she wants an apartment near a bus stop, and near a grocery store. And she wants a safe place. 
Yes. Then I know just the place for her. Where? My apartment building. It's near a bus stop and a grocery store. Are there any apartments for rent there? I don't know, but we can ask. Hi, Betty. Hi, Simon. Hi, Renee. You look busy. I am. I'm writing an ad. I'm looking for someone to rent my house. Your house? Are you moving? No, not the house I'm living in. My other house. You have two houses? Yes, and the family that lives in my second house is moving. So you're putting an ad in the paper. That's right. What's your house like? It has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a big backyard. Where is the house? It's on Lake Avenue. That's a nice neighborhood. How much is the rent? I'm asking for one thousand two hundred dollars a month. That's a really good price. You'll find someone to rent it in no time. You just found someone. We'll rent it. We will? Yes. Honey, you're always talking about moving into a bigger place, and this house sounds nice. What about our apartment? Didn't you say Hugh was looking for a place for Olga? Yes. Well, Olga can move into our place. That's perfect. Thank you, honey. Yes. Thank you, Simon. Betty is working in the post office. Simon walks in. Betty says hi. Simon gives some letters to Betty. Then he goes to his mailbox. There is no mail for Simon. Simon closes his mailbox. Then he looks around for some cards. But he doesn't see any cards. Betty walks over to Simon. Hi, Betty. Where are your cards? Sorry, Simon. I am out of cards right now. Oh. Okay. Where else can I get cards? Maybe you has some cards. Do I hear my name? Do my friends need something? Yes, I need some cards. Wonderful! I'm selling some cards today. What kind of cards do you need? Do you need a card for a special day, or is it for a special person? I need. I have cards for birthdays, special events, or holidays. This one says we're having a baby. Do you need this one, Simon? I need a card for my wife. Do you have one that says "I love you"? Yes. Roger. Hi. I'm Renee. We met last month. Oh, I remember. Are you surprised to see me again? I'm very surprised. Yeah, I just came back yesterday. I like it here. I'm glad. Small town is a nice place. Yes, I can rest here, and I can do something else here too. What? I can write songs. See, I brought my guitar. Wow! So how do you write your songs? Well, first I think of a topic. It could be a person or a special memory. Okay, I see. Then I write words about the topic. After that. I play some chords on my guitar and write the music. That sounds easy. Not really. I rewrite a lot. Really? So how long do you take to write songs? I can write some songs in minutes, but I need months to write other songs. I wrote a song once. I got inspired and wrote it in one day. I love to hear it. Really. 
It's not very good. <clears throat> I heard you guys talking. Renee, play your song. I want to hear it. Come on, play it for me. Sunset, days are passing by. Sunday, Monday, days are rolling by. Make a I do believe. What's wrong, Sarah? You look sad. I am. I can't study abroad this fall. I miss the application deadline. What? Sarah, I'm sorry. Where did you want to go? Italy. This isn't like you. How did you miss the deadline? I filled out all the forms. I wrote the essay. But I got busy and forgot to mail everything. That happens. I forget things too. What should I do now? Stay here in small town with us. Small town is great. I know, but I still feel sad. Well, learn from your mistake. Next time, write things down. Make a list. Right. Let's hear a song from Roger. That will cheer you up. Okay. I will sing Renee's song. It's great. Sunrise, sunset. <laughs> hey, Renee. Hi, Rich. Simon isn't here yet. Okay, I'll wait. What are you working on? I'm trying to write a business letter, but I'm not sure if I have the right style. Really? I write business letters all day. Let me look at it. Thanks. Here. Give me a minute to read this letter. With our truest thanks, we thank you so much for your offer. This is a good letter. Thanks. It's polite, but it's too long. Business people don't have time to read two pages. Right. Keep it simple. For this last sentence, you can write. Thank you for your offer. It's shorter. Okay, and that's important because time is money for our businesses. Right, and make sure your writing is clear. What do you mean? Well, who's we in this letter? Is we you and Max, or the diner's owners, and you? Oh, I see. You're right. Why don't we work on this letter until Simon gets here? That would be great. Thank you for your offer. Hi, Sarah. Simon. Hi. I have some dinner for you. Really? Thanks, Simon. You're welcome. The food is for Max. What are you doing? I'm reading a play. Which play are you reading? I am reading Our Town. Oh, that's a good play. You read plays? Yes, I do. Are you surprised? Yes. <laughs> I like plays. They are interesting. Yes, they are. But I don't understand some plays. They have a lot of difficult words. I know. <laughs> are you reading this play for school? Yes. We're studying plays in my English class. I see. Who is your teacher? Miss Webb. I know Miss Webb. I fix things for her sometimes. She is a good teacher. We have a lot of fun in her class. Is English your favorite subject? No. Really? But you're a writer. I know, but English is not my favorite subject. Then what is your favorite subject? I don't really have one. Really? Now I am surprised. <laughs> you don't have a favorite subject at school? No, 
I like a lot of subjects. Like what? Well, I like history. Right now, we're studying American history. American history is very interesting. Yes, it is. What other subjects do you like? I like Italian. You're taking Italian? Yes. All students study a foreign language. That's great. Hello, you two. Hello, Hugh. Sarah, I have something for you. What is it? It's a dictionary. Thanks, Hugh, but I already have a dictionary. This dictionary is different. It is? Yes. It has every word in the English language in it. That's a really big dictionary. Yes, you can learn many new words from this dictionary. Then you can be smart. But she already is smart. You're right. Well, then, Simon, maybe you can use it. What are you saying? I'm not smart. Um, well. I'm going now. Bye. Max, I need more money, then I can buy it. I know, Ben. What are you guys talking about? Ben wants a new car. But I don't make enough money at work. Are you saving money for a new car? Do you have a plan? I don't need a plan. I need money. I make a plan for school every year. Why? My plan is for my goals. <laughs> every year, Sarah sets goals for school. I'm writing my goals now. See? Wow! You have 11 goals here. Yes. I need a plan or I can't reach any of them. So make a plan, Ben. Then you can reach your goal. What's the difference between a goal and a plan? Well, what do you want? That's your goal. And how can you get it? That's your plan. Oh. Ben, write down your goals and plans right now. No. Why not? We can help you. I don't like plans. I don't follow them. Then how do you reach your goals? I don't. I give up. What are some of your goals? Win a car. That's impossible. It is. Don't have impossible goals. Set real goals. Save money. That's a real goal. How can you save? Write down your plan. Oh, all right. I can try. OK. I have my plans. Let me see. One, save $50 of my pay each month for a dream car. Good. And? Two, get another job. Do you have time for a second job? Yes, I can work on weekends. Great. OK, three, eat every meal at Max's house. What? Then I can save money. What are you doing? I'm making the sun and planets for my science class. We are learning about space. That's great. Yes. This week, we are studying about the sun. Really? What are you learning about it? Well, the sun is a star. And it is really old. How old is it? The sun is more than four billion years old. Wow! Yes. And the sun is really hot, too. The center of the sun is about 15 million degrees. 15 million degrees? That's hot. I know. I'm learning a lot in my class. Science is interesting. Hey, wait a minute. 
You have eight planets. Aren't there nine? No, there are eight planets. Are you sure? Yes, there were nine planets, but one of those planets is too small, so it isn't a planet now. Oh. Hey, I have an idea. What are you two doing tomorrow night? Nothing. Why? Can Simon and I come to your house? Of course. Great. Simon and Renee are outside Max and Sarah's house. Simon is setting up a telescope. He points the telescope to the sky. Then he looks into the telescope. He moves the telescope and looks into it again. Then he tells Renee to look inside the telescope. Renee looks in and smiles. Simon tells Renee to go get Sarah and Max. Hi, Sarah. Renee, you're here. Yes. Come outside. Okay. Max, Renee, and Simon are here. I'm coming. Come here, Sarah. I want to show you something. Okay. Do you see that light in the sky? Yes. Is that a star? No, that's Venus. Really? Yes. Look in the telescope. What are you looking at, Sarah? I'm looking at Venus through Simon's telescope. Really? Let me see. Wow, it's beautiful. We learned about Venus in our science class last week. It's the second planet from the sun. That's right. Venus is almost the same size as Earth. Scientists call it Earth's sister planet. I didn't know that. Simon knows a lot about space. Simon, can you show us some more things in the sky? Sure. Do you see that really bright star over there? Yes. That's the North Star. Oh, I know about that star. A long time ago, people used it to guide them when traveling. That's right. I'd love to travel into space one day. You can. People now take trips into space for fun. Really? Yes. I read about space trips in the paper. A person from Russia is traveling into space this month. That's exciting. It's also expensive. A trip into space can cost about twenty million dollars. Wow! Then I need to start saving money. <laughs> Hi, Betty. Did you read my article? I'm reading it right now. This is an interesting article about space travel. Thanks. Would you want to be an astronaut, Sarah? Maybe. You know. Someday, people could take vacations in space. Really? That sounds fun. Hello, friends. Hello, Hugh. What are you selling today? This. Try it. What is it? Just eat it. Okay. This is terrible. What is this, Hugh? It's space food. Space food? Yes. Astronauts eat this when they go into space. Then I'm glad I'm not going into space. I wouldn't want to eat this every day. I wouldn't either. But I'd still like to go into space. I want to know what traveling in space is like. Visit the Science Museum in Chicago. They have a space center there. Really? Yes. You can learn a lot of interesting things about space travel, and you can see what Earth looks like from space. I'd like to see that. Great. I'm selling museum tickets. Okay. I'll talk to Max. Maybe we can go. Wonderful.